You ready to fight? You ready? Go ahead. Well, it is St. Patrick's Day. You wonder if we're going to see Conor McGregor at the St. Patty's Day Parade in South Boston as we did in 2018. You've got to be doing something in your neck of the woods, New Orleans, Louisiana. I mean, any reason to party is a good reason down in the South. In New Orleans, they party hard. On St. Patrick's Day, it's no different. But the party tonight is inside the outfit. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. He's timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, knee to the head. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Plans the right hand. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Big body kick lands. All right, single collar tie now. Throwing that jab, no good. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice defense there, huge block. Beautiful point. Nice diversity in the attack. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. So we pull up the numbers for you here. How about this, DC? 34 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big kick lands. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Single collar tie now. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon tonight. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And when you think you got a beat on the right uppercut, he shifts his weight off to the side and lands it on the left side. What a great understanding of landing that punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Blocks the shot. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow from the clinch. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice loop and punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. There. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice kick. These guys are going in. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nurago Medov. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Back and forth we go. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice punch there. Another big leg kick land. Oh, elbow to the head in the clinch. That one landed flush by Nurmagomedov. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Got the single collar tie right on the button. 
Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plum. Oh. Oh. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty, pretty good, good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Good punch, Lance. Oh, single collar tie here. Caught that kick there. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Big punch from the clinch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbos, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, so wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take That's tonight. That's a perfect fight. scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, big punch land. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. And they both stand up. Right hand punch from the clinch. Beautiful jab there by Nermago Meta. A little single collar tie there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinic. Really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired results. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, knee to the head. And they separate. Takedown defense holds up. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. It all comes together. Nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. Nice punch there by Nermago Meta. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your pumps. Whiffs on that offering. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Khabib. 
underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Nurmagomedov's got the tie clinch now. Switching stances here. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, that's a nice strike. And that's the end of round number two. And it could very well be anyone's fight here. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice kick. Oh, big over. Clipped him with the right hand there. Continuing to go to the head. Unable to land with that punch. Left hand punch of the clinch. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent in position where he can get off the strikes. Nice straight punch. And they separate. Single collar tie now. Beautiful kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Liver kick. Magomedov gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to... Oh man, that was slick. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Nurmagomedov's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Effective strike there by Nurmagomedov. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. It's messed up really bad. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Big leg kick land. Knee to the body. It is blocked. Look at the turtle in that kick. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Got the single collar tie. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight push. Hey, stop. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We knew this was going to be a brawl, okay? We knew it was going to be blood, okay? We need to protect this cut, though. We know he's going after it. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Dig and kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice strike. Oh, single collar tie here. Head kick lands. Nurmagomedov's shot is blocked. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh! Back and forth we go! And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, collar tie. Nice head kick. And he switches to southpaw. Great punch. Able to land with the left hand. Nice body kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big kick lands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Great punch landed with so much power. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Pretty good right hand. 
Nurmagomedov gets hit with a kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Kick to the body by Nermago Metal. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Final minute. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. And they separate. Nice leg kick. Now connects with a right. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice kick there by Nurmagomedov. Hard shots landing on both sides here. his feet and they separate 15 seconds remain in the round straight punch land knee strike coming it is blocked I mean he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks Right there, landed perfect. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. And there comes the separation now. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Visibly limping here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. It's a good right hand right there. Single collar tie now. Beautiful leg kick throw. Left hand punch in the clinch. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Good shot there to land the takedown. Nice shot by Nemago Metal. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Hammer fist going to town here by Nermago Medov. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the ball. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity patch to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strike. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Nurmago Medov's back in full mount. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. And attack an arm bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle.
crushes his opponent by way of submission. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 26 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he 